This is 1973's Roosevelt Dime Proof. Graded as PR70 Deep Cameo by PCGS. This is representative of absolute numismatic perfection, a condition rarity with sharp contrast between liquid-like fields and fraudy reliefs. Strike condition is perfect. It was sold for $632.40. Number 7. This is vividly toned 1951 Roosevelt dime in MS-68 condition with full bands. This impossible to upgrade superb gem Roosevelt dime from a mintage of 103.8 million coins is highly lustrous and fully struck. The borders are colored in shades of magenta, golden orange, and ice blue, leaving the centers minimally toned. PCGS reported just 7 specimen in this grade, including this gem, with none finer. It was sold for $3,000. Number 6. Here is 1949's Roosevelt Dime in Mint State 67 Plus with full bands. According to NGC, the 1949's Dime has the second lowest mintage for Roosevelt Dimes of all dates and mints during the Silver Series, and it was immediately targeted by speculators for hoarding. Their efforts were moderately successful, and the supply of Mint State coins is adequate to the demand. The huge certified population, even in higher grades, reflects continued interest in this premium issue. Due to the policy of the San Francisco Mint to run dies way too long, most survivors reveal blurry, eroded details and overall poor strikes. This specimen was sold for $3,120. Number 5. This is 1951 D. Roosevelt dime with attractive toning. Graded in Mint State 68 with full bands. The 1951 D dime is a fairly plentiful issue in high grades, and full bands representatives are not overly elusive in general. The number of full bands pieces awarded the lofty grade of MS-68, however, is minuscule. Razor-sharp details and frosty mint luster illuminate vivid lime green and cherry red hues over much of this stellar coin, delivering seemingly unrivaled visual appeal. It was sold for $3,290. Number 4. Here is 1953 D. Roosevelt with repunched mint mark. Graded in Mint State 68 by PCGS. Not only is this superb gem 1953 D an important registry set Roosevelt dime, it is an exemplary color coin with exquisite obverse toning in shades of lime green, fuchsia pink, and robin's egg blue. The attractive pastel toning deepens at the rims, and carries over to the reverse border. Nearly flawless surfaces host a sharp full band strike and a repunched mint mark. RPM 005, repunched D over tilted D. It was sold for $4,800. Number 3. This is 1964 D. Roosevelt dime in mint state 68 with full bands. This is the finest 1964 D. Roosevelt dime certified with FB designation. The luster is satiny and vibrant, and rich russet orange, sun yellow, and forest green toning surrounds the margins. The centers remain brilliant it ended up selling for $3,995. Number 2. This is 1954 S dime in mint state 68 with full bands. The finest 1954 S Roosevelt dimes are in MS 68 full bands. PCGS lists just 5 coins this fine. This PCGS coin showcases virtually perfect, frosty mint luster cast and vivid rainbow toning on each side. The strike is sharp and eye appeal is exceptional. It was sold for $6,000. Number 1. And this is 1968 No S Roosevelt Dime in PR68 Cameo Condition. The 1968 No S Dime is listed as number 3 in Scott Schechter and Jeff Garrett's 100 Greatest Modern U.S. Coins. The 1968 No S Dime is among the most elusive of the coveted No S Proof issues of various denominations only the 1975 No S Roosevelt Dime issue is rarer. It was also the first No S issue of the modern era, and one for which no records are available. It is estimated that no more than a couple of dozen were struck, and cameo examples are the rarest graded. This gleaming example is well contrasted and shows no more than a trace of rose color on either side. A single tick on President Roosevelt's cheek is apparently all that precludes a PR69 grade. It was sold for $30,550. So that wraps up today's episode. Please consider subscribing to our channel for more captivating numismatic content. Don't forget to smash thumbs up. Take care.